For today's activity, we're going to make a fiery furnace. It was this that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were thrown into when they refused to worship the golden statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had made. I've started with a toilet roll holder, a tube. Uh, you could use anything else that you have. I have snipped the bottom to make it easy to fold over. And I'm going to fold all those bits over to create the base of the fiery furnace. And then you need to stick all those bits down with whatever you have, sellotape or um, glue. And there we have a furnace. But we need to make it into a fiery furnace. So you can decorate it with colouring pencils and pens, or you could stick coloured pieces of paper around the top. Or I used here some um, food packaging, and this came from a bag of bagels, I think, which I thought looked quite like fire because of it being shiny. So either um, sellotape, glue, or if being very careful, staple your flames around the top of the furnace. And here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so here is my fiery furnace. So we have a fiery furnace. Now we need to add Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. I've used pencils with post-it notes on with their initials. So there we have Shadrach. There we have Meshach. And there we have Abednego all going into the fiery furnace and they're being unaffected by the flames. But of course the Bible reading tells us that someone else was with them, God. Just as in chapter one, when the boys who liked to say no kept God's law and refused to eat food which was not allowed. So here they refused to worship anything apart from their God, our God. They relied on God and put themselves completely in God's hands and God saved them from the fiery furnace. Just like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, it is often in our most difficult times that we are able to see God and God's saving hand.